31st of July is World Ranger Day. So I thought I'd do a bit of a different video where instead of just showing the, the fantastic scenery along the Southern Upland Way, I showed you a bit more about what we do as Southern Upland Way Rangers. The Southern Upland Way is a 214 mile coast to coast path across Scotland. Me and my colleague Ross work for Dumfries and Galloway Council and we deal with about 130 miles of the path. The rest of it is managed by our colleague Keith in the borders. Just in our section alone, we have 40 boardwalks, 27 bridges, 84 signposts, 150 gates, and over 500 waymark posts. And all of these need to be checked and maintained. My job is to do the community and education side of the Southern Upland Way. So I spend most of my time doing YouTube videos like this, writing stuff for leaflets or information panels. I manage the Southern Upland Way website as well as the Annandale Way website. I'm also here to do school groups, uh, guided walks and talks. So if you're a teacher in a school or a youth club leader and you want to come out onto the Southern Upland Way, give me a call, let me know. Equally, if you want me to come out and do a talk for your community group or you run a local event, I'm here to go out and help with that sort of thing as well. But today, I'm gonna to go and meet up with Ross and do something a bit more practical. I first decided I wanted to be a countryside ranger when I was eight. I went to some ranger activities at Culain, which is on the Ayrshire coast just north of here, and ever since then I wanted to be a ranger. I've now been a ranger for 20 years, and in that time I've done an awful lot of different jobs. I've done a lot of practical conservation work, cutting down invasive species, I've built bridges and boardwalks, I've done wildlife surveys, I've led guided walks. So it's a very, very, very job, and that's why I love it. So what is it we're doing today, Ross? We're putting non-slip down on this boardwalk so that people don't slip yep. in the winter. Yeah, because these can get proper treacherous in the winter. Yeah, yeah. This boardwalk used to be about six inches underwater the entire boardwalk uh, last winter I raised it from the bog and uh, now it's time to put the non slip on. Is this typical work for, for you on a day-to-day -day basis or, or is yeah. there any typical work for you? It's kind of, at this time of year it's very varied. Uh, I was cutting a couple of trees down this morning that were hanging over a path. I cut a path early this afternoon and now I'm doing non-slip and boardwalk. So, uh, very varied really. Yeah, and yeah. in the winter? Uh, building boardwalk, maintaining bridges, Cutting more trees, putting on everything except cutting grass, really. Yeah. <laughs> and you spend an awful lot of time th this time of year cutting grass? Yeah, pretty much. You just got to keep on top of it this time of year. If the machines are working, you cut grass. And if the machines aren't working, you go and find something else to do. Sat in school a lot, looking out the window, wanting to be on the other side of the glass. And then uh, at school, some work experience came along to work with a ranger on the Southern Upland Way actually, so I went and worked with him and uh, then just chose to go off and do a course that would get me into the job. Me and Ross are lucky enough to do our job in a part of the world that's really beautiful but also really safe. The worst we have to worry about is getting caught out in the rain. World Ranger Day is dedicated to rangers who've lost their lives while doing their job. Unfortunately, there have been only over 130 rangers in the last year who have lost their lives. 
Some of those were because of accidents or were killed by the animals that they to protect. But unfortunately, a lot of them were killed by poachers or loggers. If you want to know more about this, go to the Thin Green Line website. I'll put a link in the description below.